Gaza National Bank was destroyed by an Israeli airstrike on Sunday as fighting continues in Israel and Gaza. The death toll is now more than a thousand, with thousands more injured on both sides. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says his country is now engaged in a quote long and difficult. More than 700 Israelis have been confirmed dead, and 560 Palestinians have been killed. Palestinian suffering, Israel says, is the responsibility of Hamas. I've just spoken with Prime Minister Netanyahu to assure him of the UK's steadfast support as Israel defends itself against these appalling attacks. Israeli soldiers on the scene describe it as a massacre. There's a long relationship between Iran and Hamas. In fact, Hamas wouldn't be around uh, in the way that it is without the support that it's received from Iran over the Pentagon years. Pentagon has ordered US warships and forces closer to Israel with the threat of a wider war looming. But in only a few days, Israel has inflicted immense damage in Gaza. They've cut off supplies of food, water, and power, and killed hundreds of civilians. Everywhere I go, everybody wants me to choose a side. Everybody wants me to hate somebody, to take sides in a war that is not even my own. Since when did everyone have to have an opinion on everything? I take a severe interest in global geopolitics. I probably understand the Middle East better than maybe 70, even 80% of American citizens. Yet I don't run my mouth. One can surely assume the intelligence of those who scream their opinion, yet don't even know the difference between Palestine and Hamas. Justin Bieber posted a picture of a decimated Gaza with the captions, Praying for Israel. The city of Gaza is in Palestine. Why should Daniel Klebundi have a side in this war? It's not my land. It's not my family, it's not my history, it's not my place to judge. For reasons far beyond the scope of this video, Israel is a critical ally for America. As allies, my country has a degree of responsibility to Israel. And our elected officials will make their decisions with this in mind. We will judge their decisions in their next elections. I hope that my nation's ally makes it out of this conflict in one piece. I equally hope the same for Palestine. In these times, I have watched men I once respected beyond words call for actions of genocide against innocent people. Men who find themselves hundreds of thousands of miles from any danger, calling for more death. Heed those who incited further chaos in this war. They would just as easily call for the deaths of your children should your values ever oppose a threat to their own. It is so very easy to sit in your big, safe castle and deliver judgment unto those who suffer a pain, who live in an agony you could hardly conceive. Who the hell are you to open your mouth on the slaughter of children as though you were watching a reality TV show? People are dying. This is not entertainment for the safe and the bored. This is not a moral debate for those without stake. There is no gun at our head. We do not cradle our lifeless children. We do not know the agony undergone. So why are we talking? I am not so naive as to complain that war is immoral. It exists. It is our nature. Nothing will change this fact. Hell, I volunteered to fight them. All we can do is work to maintain the greatest degree of peace as is possible within this framework that nature has laid out for us. You want me to pick a side? I side with the children who will make it out of this conflict orphaned, without education, without shelter, without food. I'm on the side of the children who have and continue to die in their parents' war. I do not want children to die. And America is an ally of Israel. That is the extent of my opinion on this war. 
I do not want children to die. And America is an ally of Israel. Go on. Look for a hidden meaning. Look for an extrapolation. Look for bias if you must. You will find only that which lies within your own condition. I do not want children to die. And America is an ally of Israel. That is the full extent of my opinion on this war. So keep calling for genocide if you must. I'm done talking. I shouldn't have to say this shit. I shouldn't have to say this. Next time I'm asked my opinion, I'll just send them this video. I have said my piece. I will say no more. See you guys next week.